All right, so in a recent and heartbreaking news story, we just learned about a 24-year-old with a really big problem, continually failed background screens. As it turns out, the failure has an explanation, but it's not an excuse. So there's a man in Minnesota named Trayvon who has a twin brother named Travon. Very similar names and obviously the same birthday. So his twin brother was convicted of rape in 2019, and at some point due to a court error, the criminal charge was recorded under Trayvon's name. After several job rejections, he discovered the error and immediately got a court record from the court with a fingerprint showing that this was a mistake. But the old search still shows up in some databases. So when he goes to apply for a job, especially at large corporations who run less thorough background screens, typically it's because they hire at such a large volume and they're just trying to save a dollar or two. Anyway, uh, poor Trayvon is immediately denied just because of the processes. Now, there is a process in place to protect a consumer just like this instance, but for people like Trayvon, he isn't interested in more criminal court proceedings or court dates. He just wants a job to start a normal life. In the past, when he's explained the situation to employers, even with the court records, they say things like, try to get your background fixed and come back to us. For a little perspective, if he had applied at a job with an employer who's supported by validity, he would have had a real person, seen the flag, conducted additional research, and when it's obvious that the name wasn't a match with the criminal record, um, we would know that there's more work to be done. Consumer reporting agencies like Validity are responsible for maintaining strict procedures with regards to accuracy and reportability. Researchers must look for matching names, addresses, date of birth, or social security numbers. It's nowhere near best practice to report an offense based only on a name match, let alone reporting the offense if the name isn't even a match. So listening to candidates is a really important part of the screening process as the results affect both the employers and the employees. Individuals have a right to review their completed screening report and dispute any inaccuracies with validity. We are accredited by the PBSA, the Professional Background Screening Association, and every one of our validity team members have a certification. In addition, all of our screens and partners follow the FCRA, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act. It was enacted to protect consumers and govern the practices of consumer reporting agencies just like us. You all, stories like this are heartbreakingly common. And that's why at Validity, we work so hard to educate our new and existing clients on the importance of a true background screening partnership. We're here for you and for your candidates. And that's validation. Now that's validation.